on the journey that, you know, a, a disease carrying microbe goes on once it enters our mouth, sort of what it does in the body next. Yeah, so similar to the uh, viruses and bacteria, they, they basically are ingested or will come in through your nose or your mouth. So upon ingestion, they, the bacteria and the viruses and protozoa, they're basically looking for a, a cell. Um, in the case of the viruses, they're looking for a cell to attach to that they inject their um, genome into, and then that cell makes more of those viruses and the infection spreads. In the case of the bacteria, it's similar, but it depends on the bacterial type. What they're doing is that they're generally um, become encapsulated by a cell in the body um, or they make their way into one of the cells in the body. The thing to remember is that with viruses, um, the, the amount of the virus that is required to make you sick is very low. Mm -hmm. So you only have to ingest one virus in order for you to become sick. If that one is successful in getting in there and making more of itself, you're going to get the same level of sickness that somebody did who ingested literally like a thousand viruses. For the bacteria, there's an infectious dose and that dose basically dictates how strong your symptoms are. So the mechanism of their pathogenesis is slightly different, but really it's ingestion and then basically getting into one of your cells and then causing a series of a cascade of reactions. The types of things you might see, see if you swim in um, animal or human waste um, could be things from the stomach virus, uh, stomach infection, uh, ear infection, pink eye. Um, you could get things like Giardia. You could get more severe illnesses like hepatitis. Um, in the most extreme cases, it can even cause death. But honestly, if you were to ask me if I would prefer diarrhea with fever or diarrhea after going to the beach, I would choose neither. How can people support NRDC in our effort to get the EPA to raise the bar for what it considers to be safe to swim and improve beach water quality standards? Well, one of the most important things they can do is become a member of NRDC um, and go online and take action um, on our website, nrdc.org. Um, there's a take action tab. There's oftentimes water related take action items. Right now we have one on stormwater issues and trying to get EPA to improve stormwater protections, which again, are, stormwater is the number one cause of beach problems around the United States. So if we can get EPA to take action there, we can improve water quality and protect beach goers. Steve, I'm sorry, can you just repeat the last sentence? My little Mac is slow. Do I have to say the diarrhea part again? Diarrhea gets such a bad rap. <laughs>